What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be taking a look at some new arrivals at a couple of different retailers starting at DL2 Trading. There is a ton of new stuff uh, since Blade Show and it is definitely worth exploring. I will link these pages down in the description. It does help my channel when you use those links but that's entirely up to you. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Starting off here with uh, DLT Trading's new arrivals. I don't know who Vanguard is. Vanguard Breaker, Steel Gray, Magna Cut Blade. Honestly, not a bad looking knife. Nope, not at all. Uh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Country of Origin USA. Uh, really interested in perhaps checking this out. It doesn't look like a totally unique design by any stretch of the imagination, but I'd be lying if I said that it wasn't at least kind of interesting. Um, it's bigger than I would have guessed. I, w I looked at that and thought that's probably like, what, a seven and a quarter inch knife? No, apparently it's uh, almost eight inches. I really would like to see it folded up, though. I want to know what kind of access we have to that hole. But uh, Magna Cut, no listing of Rockwell Hardness. Okay, interesting. And then they also have one. Wowzers! In, um, this is Galactic Gray. In Damasteel, it does look pretty cool, though. Um, I don't know that it's, I don't know that the Timascus access. It is a lot of Timascus, so Backspacer and Clip. I don't know that the Timascus accents and the damage steel blade really justify a $1,000 price tag, but, yeah. Uh, Lion Steel Mito, I don't know. I just, anytime I see Lion Steel, I'm just not super, um, whelmed. Uh, Microtech Injection Mold Handle MSI. So glad to see that these are just accessible. There's a really cool green aluminum, fluted aluminum. Uh, two-tone apocalyptic and probably tumbled or satin uh, stitch. Very cool. There's a uh, SOCOM Elite with a tan handle sitting there. You got the uh, fluted aluminum Microtech. Excuse me. Uh, just had an um, energy drink. What flavor is this? Ultra Fiesta Mango. Really good. Enjoy that one. Microtech Ramlock uh, Amphibian fluted aluminum in both tan or baked bean and black which is what i would recommend uh scarab 2 we've got a whole bunch of different combat troodons that's great um big fan of that yeah those ludts went super quick um microtech hopefully is taking note of how popular those are and how quickly they sell out probably a good idea if they get more of those in stock kunwu compact chad dlc pm60 or any of them honestly uh, well truthfully if, if you're going to do this I, I would not i don't like the carbon fiber one very much but these titanium ones are wonderful 259 actually the base price 240 is it worth it a hundred percent 100 percent you're talking about ridiculous edge retention proper heat treatment uh shiny dlc if you want it textured titanium wonderful ambidextrous operation truly ambi carry knife considering the pocket clip mounting positions are on both sides yeah, this is a super winner EDC, 100%. Still have it here. Um, absolutely wonderful. A joy to carry. When did the Koenig Arius drop? Hmm. Bright washed. Yeah. That's one of the better price tags I've seen on Arius. Whoever picked this up, congrats to you. I think I would have paid seven eighty five dollars for that. Um, yeah. I did not know that those dropped. Cool. Okay. The cook tools artifact all right yeah i'm not super interested in these look like super long moras peltonin m95 ranger puko i do not know yeah those look a lot those those do look nicer okay um just curious there let's move on to the next page i think this is going to be a fairly sh there's a bunch of stuff here but it's going to be a fairly short list because we did recently look at dlt the reason i'm not looking at these subends is because Small Sabenza, unique, small Sabenza, bog oak, stuff like that. Uh, we tend to see that a lot. Um, we see them in huge clumps. Uh, there's a bunch of unique graphic, uh, large 31s. So if you're looking for a unique graphic, these are in Magna Cut. Um, so there you go. Those seem to, like this, the um, unique graphic Sabenzas, they always sell, but they just sit for a long time, you know? Okay, here we go. This is what we talked about. So when exactly they're going to drop, I don't know. 
But when they say coming soon, they mean it because it's post Blade Show now. These are the new Spider Co's, all the cool sprint runs, right? Um, depending on what you're after, you might be really excited or really underwhelmed. I can tell you right now, um, a few people might might go after that Techno Three. Uh, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know if you guys are specifically interested in the uh, like the maroon ones. Um, personally, I am undecided when it comes to the Sage. I, I'm gonna get a Sage Five. Uh, I really like the idea of picking up one in Spy 27 because I think that it you're essentially like a long time ago I, I labeled the Spyderco Sage 5 as one of the most underrated Spyderco knives to ever exist and likely one of the very best EDC knives to ever exist. <laughs> Sorry, allergies. Um, but uh, I mean, it's you know, I don't love the wire clip, but the way that that knife is set up, the size of it, right, the leaf shaped blade. Um, to me, it's uh, it's better than the Spyderco Para Three, um, and it's just it, all the lines and the the clip position, all of that stuff. It's all just a little bit better. So getting it in Spy Twenty Seven, um, which is very similar, not identical, but similar to S Forty Five Vn, you're essentially you know right or left handed. You're that's that's essentially a perfect DDC knife. However, just to say that I own a knife in Rex One Twenty One, which admittedly. I have never owned a knife in Rex 121. That is, if you're not, if, if you don't know, Rex 121 is the undisputed king of edge retention. And I mean the king. Uh, we have not seen Rex 121 on a production knife. I I honestly don't know if we have ever. Um, but this is, uh, this is real. I don't know that I love the burnt orange, but whatever, right? I'll get custom scales if I want to. Um, but that is, it's it's cool that we're even able to get a blade that's made of Rex 121. It's even cooler that Spyderco is heat treating it, so you know it's going to be great. And it's even cooler that you can get it in this blade geometry, which is, <laughs> I mean, that's really like kind of a trifecta right there. Um, so while I don't love the $300 price tag, I don't think, I, you know, when it comes time to decide between these two, I'm not going to flinch at either of them. Um, and you know, if you want to pay 45 bucks less, you don't care about G10, 255 for Rex 121. I don't know. I don't know that I, I really can call that bad. I'll tell you what is bad. Whoops. Is whoops. <laughs> no, the, not the Manix 2. The Manix 2 is awesome. I mean, if you're not going to pick one of those up. You know what I might do? I might pick up the Sage 5 in uh, Rex 121 and then the Manix 2 in the Cobalt Blue. I'll tell you what I don't like is the Titanium. <laughs> oh, God. The Spider Coat Tenacious in Titanium and 8 CR 13 MOV for 127 or 132 for Black. Yikes. Uh, these, these, uh, what's the Endura? What is this sprint run? PD1. So I micromelt PD1. I wasn't sure about PD1. I couldn't remember anything about it. You guys all told me that it was really good. So the Wii Sword Fin. Okay. Large and cozy, small Sabenza, large and cozy Tanto. Have you been looking for one? Right there. I see almost all of the Herman knives are gone, except for the Ishtar 497. Don't sleep on that. Uh, don't sleep on the Ishtar. This is an awesome, awesome knife. Very, very cool. Uh, especially, I mean, if you're into bronze and there you go, they got a perfect one, but definitely do not sleep on that. Those are great. Hinder, um, titanium scales that have the warthog theme. Uh, a couple more amphibians. Just want to get back to where I was the last time that I did this. Just see if there's anything that we need to be pointing out. Yeah. Wayfair 247s. We definitely have been there before. So let's check restocks real quick. Just in case they've changed the restock since the last time I looked. No, 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 no. These are all the same. Okay. So the other site that I want to check out, the site that I have not checked out in a while is eKnives. If you've been paying attention to eKnives, they got a lot of stuff that was showcased at Blade Show seemingly a little bit early. Um, so some 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 interesting stuff. And, and again, this doesn't surprise me about eKnives. I mean, like... This is like one of the places that you want to go, especially to get weird or unique 
um, Microtech knives. So the red Mini Hera, definitely have not seen that before. Purple Mini Hera, right? Definitely something to check out. Oh, they have the XOUs. Okay, XOUs um, at uh, E-Knives with yellow. Yellow speed holes, which is fun to say. Uh, so I'll come Elite Manual with tan there. They have Hinder Skinners. Um, these are a little bit weird. They have um, Stonewash Blue. Yeah, so these have pre-installed special hardware which is kind of neat because this is usually something you would have to build sorry uh so i like that if you you know like these combos um i remember having to spend a lot more than this to get the scale i wanted and to get the hardware color that i wanted which you can still definitely do right oh wow they got the special oligarch Ooh. That's really good looking. Man, is that Chad Nichols? Nichols virus Damascus. So this isn't mystery stuff. You can go to the Chad Nichols website and find out what his compositions are. There's a few different things, but this is not just for looks. Uh, this is a performance Damascus for sure. Um, but uh, I kind of like the low polish. It's like gray and black. I kind of like it. I, it just... I, I feel like Nichols Damascus is always always instantly recognizable and super cool on this. Um, it looks like it's stainless steel. So the frame is stainless steel because it's an automatic, probably because of the impact. I feel like titanium goals, which is probably why we don't see it as much on autos. Well, they have the exact SOCOM Elite manual that I have. Exactly identical to the one that i own uh this is the one that's made in the usa um literally identical to the one that i own that i bought in 2018 um pretty cool i want to point this out 2018 was six years ago and the price of mine in 2018 was 285 kind of have to hand it to microtech there for not bumping up in price the SOCOM Elite is absolutely worth it if you can get it. You know, I like it in the manual configuration. The only thing that kind of sucks is the tip down. But if you like if you like tip down, you know, if you're a tactical Ted or a tactical Timothy, um, then uh, maybe you maybe you like that, right? Either way, it's a super recommendable knife. I love it. Um, Protec Runt Custom Nottingham Tactical. Why does that look less Georgie? Is that a collab? Has to be. In fact, I think you guys told me. It's got to be a Les George collab. Has to be. Let's move on to the next page here. Good Lord. 2021. They've had that one for... Well, maybe they picked that one up there. They have the McNeese uh, Mach 2. PM Mach 2 Gen 2. Sitting there in full tie. Rip knife. I've always been interested in those. Um, I feel like, I think Scott sent me one a while back. They have the big Spartan Harzy, um, in a couple of different, those are also American knives that are absolutely worth the money. Some pans, Chavez Ultramar Street. Mm. I don't know who's paying. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't know who's paying uh, $7,000 for a Hydra, but that's the giant one. <laughs> still not saying it's 100 percent worth the money but you know uh 3.5 inch red and blue skinner that's cool you don't usually see that color combination that's kind of neat um i just am not the biggest fan of the skinner blade shape spartan blades field grade poros that's kind of interesting that's a big one too so black g10 and 154 cm okay where's it made taiwan I'm not upset about that. I'm not upset about that price tag. That's kind of cool. I don't know how it flips, um, but I'm, I'm not super upset about that. Oh, they have a pre-owned Koenig Arias and carbon fiber. Wow, you can pay $800 more than what those drop for normally. Wow, super fun. Um, I mean, it's pre-owned. You know, it's probably on consignment or something like that. They have the uh, TRM Nerd uh, here, and I think, yeah, there's a titanium one still sitting there uh trm knives definitely recommendable um i own the shadow and the um adam i believe or whichever is the longer one um but definitely worth checking out 
attention to detail. Mm. This, the John Gray Thuck, T H U C K, is actually. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so attracted to the aesthetic of this. It is so weird that he's got the same background materials, uh, the Nick Shabazz uh, tabletop background material inlay, <laughs> leather, literally leather inlay. Wow. Um, and does it say, oh, it's Magna Cut 2024 Blade Show. I don't know. Such a unique looking profile. Wild contrast with some of these, definitely. What makes this Glycon $1,500? Signature series. It's literally just black and flamed. Why? That is a thousand dollars more that's uh eleven hundred dollars more than it should be wtf man um the antique green's cool but again like why 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 are the signature series now so expensive it's just crazy um i am very interested in not a custom one but the knicks because i think this is like heretics Boy, it's even bigger. I was thinking it was that like their Ultra Tech, but it's like a bigger Ultra Tech. It's like a Dirac Delta, uh, but Heretic. I want a, a basic one would definitely be interesting. Uh, Combat Truid on Gen threes, a couple of different configurations, whole bunch of this stuff. MSI, right? Scarab. Uh, would still like to pick up a new Scarab. Three point two five inch Spartan Harzy. Attention to detail. They got a Riot Mini Exo sitting there. That's really random. Uh, Protex. So we got a nut. We got some Knuckles. <laughs> but uh, what are these? Balasongs. Another uh, random Hinder X M eighteen Skinner. More uh, McNeese uh, Mach two or I'm sorry PM Mach two autos. If you're looking for an auto. Cypher 2. I people keep bringing up the Cypher 2 to me and it, it looks neat, but I'm just it's just not really my style. That's just not really like the Microtech auto that I'm drooling to get. But I, I mean if you like it, I think that's perfectly fine. Um is there anything else here? I think we might be nearing the end of what I wanted to showcase. Ooh, I gotta gotta admit though, that's pretty cool. That two tone, man. If that was a shadow variant, because my my Gen uh, two Scarab two is a shadow variant, and I think I would I would pick up a uh, shadow, which is probably a signature series, which means it's going to be like eight hundred dollars. Then again, I kind of want this, just a plain Jane stone washed one. It's kind of cool. I don't want to buy it the moment that this video is over. I always say that, and I only do it about half the time. This makes me think there's more on the next page. Yeah, more Hinderer. Uh, XM18 3.5 inch and Skinner Blade. Be very curious to find out if they fix the bounce back on the Harrahs, the big ones. I don't know about the short ones, but it's the big ones I'm talking about. Keep going on to page six here. Yeah, really cool color combination there with, I mean, that's a 3.25 inch one, but I love the color combo. That again is gonna be Chad Nichols Damascus, almost certainly, yeah. Uh, and then we have the bronze hardware in contrast with the light gray and the dark gray, really, really nice. So they have the palace sitting here. I have not seen that knife in so long. Um, that's a button lock, a 3.75 inch Magna cut button lock. I remember comparing that knife with the SOCOM elite back in 2018 and 2019. It's actually a really good knife. Um, and you can get it for 295 bucks. Now I'm pretty sure that's a USA made folder. Yes. Uh, very cool. Definitely, definitely, uh, underrated. I think, uh, for 2024. Caribbean, Polestar. They have upped the price in the Polestar. What do we got? Buck 110 Auto Elite. Cool. Um, Man, don't you guys wish that they would bring back the full-size auto 
like the uh, Protec uh, Strider SNG. These PTs, some people like them, but clearly they're not as popular as the full-size ones. I gave mine away to a buddy. And I'm sure he's enjoying it, but man, I miss that knife. Uh, if they decide to re-release the full-size SNG Auto, uh, those will be bought so fast. Still curious about the Guardian Tactical Scout. Still haven't had my hands on that one. God, there's a ton of stuff here. There's an XM18 Auto in bronze. If you guys don't have uh, e-knives like on your rotation, there's an auto stitch sitting here, just like a regular one. If you don't have e-knives on your like uh, retailer rotation, you definitely need to. Absolutely, 100% need to because they have so much cool stuff here that you wouldn't expect to see or that you wouldn't normally find at other retailers. I'm just going to go one more page just to make sure there's nothing else that I'm really missing. ZTO 562 tie. Are those still around or are those, have those become hard to get? I just haven't searched for that knife in so long. All right. Some Vero fixed blades. These are cool. There's a whole bunch of stuff at both of these retailers that are worth um, checking out. Um, but I think that's going to be pretty much it today, guys. Thank you so much for doing a little bit of knife shopping with me. Uh, like I said, these pages will be linked right down in the description so that you guys can check them out if you want to. But that's going to be it for me today. Uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex and on TikTok at the underscore metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody. And have a great day.